All right, what's good, y'all? So I'm about to break down the sample right now. So let's get straight to it. So I start off with this pattern in contact. The preset is from the Albion Solstice Bank, and it's the nurse main techniques. I'm gonna show you how you can get it. So if you go in here, so if you open up the bank, you go down to the Solstice Orchestra, and then it is the Bells and Mallets one right here, and then this one right here. So it's a very nice bell, and I just made a simple pattern with it. So here's what it sounds like. So I'm gonna break down the MIDI for y'all. I start off the melody like this with the C minor chord without the middle note. So we just get the C and the G right here. And then I made it go up to these notes right here. And if I pitch these two down, this is the middle note of the C minor and this is the note before it. So this is like the sus two note and this is the regular triad note. And then I pitch them up right here. So we got it going up like this. This also works, but I just pitched them up. So I'm gonna show you both. And then I just added this G layering it with the D sharp, which is the top note right here to give it some extra like, yeah, I don't know, it just sounded good, you know? So I just added uh, these two notes right here and that's basically the beginning of the sample. So after I had this, I just duplicated it over, but instead of keeping it like this, I thought it would get too repetitive, so I just tried to keep it pretty similar, but come up with another type of rhythm to it. So I removed this note right here. So I just uh, removed the note right here and I added the D sharp right here and also the F right here uh, just for the extra variation. And then the only difference I made at the last bar right here, I took the F right here and the G out here just for the little extra variation in the melody. I routed it to mixer channel number one and I start off with the compressor right here because some of the notes was very low and some of them were uh, very high so I added a compressor to even it out and to make everything like pretty loud so here's what it sounds like with the compressor. Here's without the compressor. You can hear the bottom notes are very like silent, but with the compressor on they're like turning up the low end as well. So that's the compressor. After that I added an EQ, took out the lows and the highs. Let me show you the difference. This is bypassed. And this is with the EQ on. I just like to EQ out the high end of my melodies because it gives it like a darker feel or like a more vintage feel kinda. So yeah, to cut the high frequencies to make it more vintage kinda and the low end just to make room for the other bass sounds and all of that. So after that I added a half time and I just kept it like it is when you open it up and I just turned down the mix to 20%. After that, I added a delay just to give it more rhythm. And after that, I added a sound shifter, pitched down the sample one semitone. And after that, and finally, I added a soothe. I went to the flat start preset and I just turned up the depth to 3.7. And I'm gonna show you the difference. So here's the frequencies that are being taken out by the soothe. And here's how it sounds now. So here's what the pattern sounded like first. And here's what it sounds like now. So that's for the first melody. After that, I added a lead, a one-shot lead. I've been sleeping on one-shots, but I didn't like them in the beginning, but I've been using them a lot lately just for like counter melodies and making small textures and small accents in the melody. So this one-shot right here is the Lovebirds synth from say Quizzy Cassiopeia one-shot kit. And yeah, like I said, it's just a little accent texture kind of thing going on throughout the sample. So here's what it sounds like. That's just the D note. Without these sliding notes that I added, it sounds like this. 
So I just had one D note go through at every other bar right here and I had some sliding notes. And I had these sliding notes uh, around the D every time. So here's what it sounds like with the sliding notes. So I just kept it like that throughout the whole sample and here at the end I added this thing as well. So yeah, that's one thing I've been doing a lot with one shot, just making nice little texture things around the sample. Not too complicated melodies, but just like some air candy type of stuff. After that, I just rendered it out. I kept it the same, I didn't flip it or anything, just the same beat melody. But I did drive to two mixes channel 11, and I did add a soothe to it just to clean it up a little bit, you know, I turned up the depth again. So here's the difference. These frequencies have been taken out, so here's what it sounds like now. Minor difference, but it was a little bit harsh, so I decided to put it on anyways. And so now we got the bells and the lead covered. After that, I added the bass line, and it's also a one-shot bass. It's also a one-shot bass from the same kit by Say Quizzy. It's a no love bass, and I just followed the root notes C, 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 and then the G down here. I also went in here and I turned it to a like I turned the ADSR to a box right here, so there's no release in the bass. So when the bass stops, the whole sound gets silent. It doesn't fade or anything, so it just adds some bounce to the sample when the bass gets silent throughout the melody. So, yeah, so instead of keeping it like this, keeping the 808 or keeping the bass throughout the whole sample, I just made this little box and turned on the envelope, and now it gets silent right here. After the bass, I added some more accents, this one right here. And these are from Contact, it's the Mallet Flux Bank, this one right here, and it's the Marimba preset. So I just made the C minor chord with the extra note down here, and I strummed them like this, and kept them in two different octaves, so it's the same chord, just in different octaves. And for the first part, I kept it down here, then up here, and then down here, and then I didn't have anything out here, because the lead melody hits right here, the long lead melody, so if you play the lead melody together with the marimba, it sounds like this. So, I didn't want to put another bell right here, because it would clash with the long lead melody. It didn't sound nice, so I just kept it three bell melodies and yeah, kept it silent for here. So that's all the patterns for the first section, the A part right here. And for the B part, I kept the same bells in the beginning. I kept the same bass. And then I added this melody as well. Uh, it's some analog lab chords. I'm gonna just delete this middle note first. So we got the C minor chord three times right here. But the top note is pitched down one octave. It sounds like this. three times and then for the final one I just had the C minor chord again the regular without the top note being pitched down and I pitched down the whole thing five semitones one two three four five and after that I just added these notes in between and I just went by ear so the first melody was the same I went down five semitones down here and did the same thing with the bass uh, so I'm gonna just show you what it sounds like together Alright, my bad guys, I forgot to show you the processing on the mallets and the lead, so these two right here. So for the lead, I did add an EQ right here, took out some harsh frequencies around this area right here. After that, I added some reverb, 30%, just to make it more spacey. And I also added a chorus, just to add that like, detuning chorus sound to the lead, and now it sounds like this. And for the mallets, I added an echo boy, which is a delay. I put it to one fourth note, so it gives off that nice rhythm. And I also added a EQ to get the low end. 
But yeah, that's everything to the sample. After that, I rendered out an audio file and I put it to Mixer Channel 19. I added another compressor to it, a DAW LP just to add some like texture, some lo-fi texture to the whole sample and also some reverb to the whole sample. So since I have a bass sample inside of the loop, I turned out the low cut to 600 so it only affects like the higher frequencies of the sample because I didn't want the reverb to affect the bass line. Put it to 30% and yeah, I'm gonna show you before and after with the mastering chain as well. So here's without the master effects. And here's with the master effects. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.